exactly. Like, I wanna... Like, I want a good matchup, like a... Give me like a, like a Mark Fox. Yeah. That's like a matchup. Yeah. You, know? you, watch, you watch that shit, you're into it, it feels... Like, there's a terms back of and trading forth. Hits. Yeah, there's a back and forth. It's not just like, oh, the gimmick happens, and my character gets to win now. Got it, so that's how you beat that. You drop down your shield, and then you block the next thing. Big ass character. Yeah, too big for Smash, I would say. I think Rob needs to leave, personally. Not really a big fan of, um,. Oh, Rob. Over. This character's pretty big. He's got a lot of good moves. He's got down tilt. He's got down tilt. He's got down tilt. Crazy ass. He's got gyro. He's got down throw. There. Really hasn't up smashed the cover of the entire PS2 platform. Yeah. He smoke just teleported out of that shit. There was no bury. It was just like a normal down throw. He just went down and threw him up. See ya. That's how it was back in Smash 4. He threw you down, he went up. But he had a guaranteed 50 50, so it was less cool. Nice. Ridley's ledge hang is so low, he has to hit by Gyro. Yeah. See, now it's a normal match. Not the normal. Things you gotta know. Things that are not generalizable in the game. Yeah. The stuff you gotta know about. And you know, that's fun. Game, you know, needing game knowledge to participate? Of course you do. Any game. But, 83 characters? Freaking, freaking characters, bro. Oh my god. Dev got this. Alright, throwing the, the rock back here. The, uh, in 22 frames, you will die if you run into this. That's the one thing about Rob. If you were running at him, he can actually kind of struggle to kill you. Yeah. Um, the moves have startup. But they, then they can, like, explode. Yeah, and, and like then... Like, in 22 the... frames, there will be an explosion on the right side of the stage. Yes, and I will <laughs> like, have zero end life. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the Nair, too. Like, you kind of realize how big it is when Rob's do it from up high, and they kind of fall, and you see how much space it covers. Like yeah. a hole in the whole animation. Yeah, it covers like, it's like, like oh nice, there's just a column of fire in the middle of the stage because Rob's trying to land. And it's like, are they gonna fastball or are they gonna not? Right. And do I have to parry? Stop battle. They're always gonna fastball. They must. It's the thing they do. It's their favorite activity. Oh, what am I doing? Three, two, Clack it on my one, back here. Go! Uh, Home the data. Huh? Only data button. Trust me. Oh, nice. Uh, it's a Ragnarok game for it. Win that. Oh, right. Oh, yeah. Uh, nice. Oh, boy, that old I mean, it's so good. You get, you get so much knowledge off of it. I think about Smoke's character. Like, Ridley only makes a couple of decisions in advantage. Everything else is very paid by numbers. It's very much been optimized. And that's not a bad thing. Optimizing characters is cool. But it also feels like every time Smoke's an advantage, it's like sometimes it it just looks like you can't do anything. Because maybe you really can't. He, yeah. he really thought this through. Alright, so whenever um, Ragnarok gets Gyro, he goes sick on mode. Uh, good to know for the, for, ma for the matchup. He will simply keep pressing buttons until something happens. Look at this that forward tilt thing. I love it. Wasn't able to throw the Gyro on account of forgetting his opponent had one. Yep. Being so used to the privilege of having a a uh, nearly instant item projectile that, well, if you block it, it goes away, he gets a new one immediately. Uh, if you grab it, he just, you know, he just shuts off, you know, disappears. You know who's actually insanely good? You haven't been here this year, but Stretch is so good at getting gyro. It's like, 
the, the, the robs he was playing with uh, Ragnarok, they were like not throwing gyro. Because he would immediately dash back, jump over it, and he's down to grab it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then it's just like, well. And then he'd do scary shit with it. Yeah, and then why would I ever throw gyro? I just give it to Mark and he kills me. Yeah. It does sound like he's <laughs> Ragnarok. Yo. Uh, uh, Ragnarok. Nice right. dash attack. Even did a big fan of dash attack. One of the things I love about Ridley is like get somebody at a certain point, everything's just gonna kill. Like, pretty much everything's just gonna kill. Yeah, it's heavy. You just need throw. a win, right? Yeah, it's kind of like be correct one time, and you'll be fine. It can certainly be that way. It'd be like that. I gotta agree, my homie, my my bristles. It'd be like that sometimes. Sometimes. Sometimes it very much do not be like that. Okay, so you see, is Rob going to pass the ball? Yes. Of course. Because the way he used the Nair, the Nair wouldn't have hit it with the fastball, and yet it's got hella end line. It has no landing line, but it's got hella end line. Ah, he jumped up into the gyro. Rob is uh, standing at rolling distance, and. Owning the stage. He knows that oh, there he, he waits long enough, he gets to win. Alright. Oh, no, we'll play. Win, win, win. Oh. Oh. Had to stretch, had to let that out, you know? Let out the, let out the 